It's a way to Tintinara and miles to Emu Springs. Every year a little farther to the song that drove us sings. It's a hundred miles from Adelaide. The overlander rolls, then a dusty road to sunrise, where open bushland calls, and the music on the wind is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet stars echo to the sound call me back There's a lonely bush road crossing by blue-remembered hills and beyond the sands of Sugarloaf where memory lingers still on the sunlit plains of yesteryear where lyre birds dance and sing are the echo of the voices the bushman's dreams can bring and the music on the wind is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon the ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet stars echo to the sound call me back and around the pad of dreaming you know that she'll be right and around the billy boiling the stories last the night for there's room enough to breathe here and space to be your own and to sing again the old songs and watch the sun go down and the music on the wind is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon the ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet stars echo to the sound call me Away to Tintinara, as I say, written by Mike O'Connor, words and music as well. Uh, as he wrote that song about my experiences going to Australia when I was a young lad, which is just not many years, actually it's quite a few years ago, uh, when I went out to Australia to work on a sheep and cattle station, Emu Springs, just near the town, the little country town, uh, Tintinara, which is situated between Melbourne and Adelaide. So, Mike O'Connor's song, Away to Tintinara. And thank you, Mike. It's a great song and it brings back so much memories when I'm singing it. It's lovely. Thank you.